This being the first chapter after the conclusion of the preliminaries, we wind up seeing a bit about Kabuto and Orochimaru's plans, as well as the focus shifting to Sasuke. Naruto number 88. What about the Sasuke? Well, hello, my brothers and sisters and followers of Orochimaru and Sasuke lovers and Sakura haters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, and I'm here to bring you another review on the almost ending long-running series of Naruto. Now, our last chapter, of course, saw everything wrapping up uh, with the preliminaries and, you know, finding out uh, who, obviously, our winners are that are going to move on to the final round, uh, you know, as it wound up taking place, the final battle and everything else, which was a little anticlimactic, but very cool stuff nonetheless, and we are finally through the preliminaries. So, this chapter winds up picking up, and actually, it's kind of neat, because we have, at the beginning of the chapter, um, it, it's very much uh, just the kind of wrapping things up, it's, uh, it's the Hokage telling everyone this is who won, this is what's going on, this is what's going to happen. And then the major and then, and then actually Kakashi winds up going and Sakura goes and asks Kakashi, you know, if he knows anything about, you know, Sasuke's condition. And Kakashi's just like, listen, I don't really know much, blah, blah, blah. I need you to do me a favor, though, Sakura, and pay attention during the, uh, you know, during the explanation of the final exam over here. And then he just all of a sudden disappears into a puff of smoke. Maybe he needed to get down to the 7-Eleven to get himself a Big Gulp or a new flavor of Slurpee. I have no idea. But the point is, is that he just winds up disappearing. So, then we go and really the kind of meat and potatoes of this chapter, which is a great setup for future chapters, in my opinion anyway is we wind up seeing uh, Kabuto, uh, or Kabuto, however you pronounce it, Kabuto, he winds up uh, meeting with Orochimaru, right? And Orochimaru's creepy ass goes and tells him, listen, man, I'm going to put you in charge of this. You're my right-hand man, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and, and Kabuto goes, and he's got a few reservations about Orochimaru. He's like, I didn't even know about the Sound Ninjas because you didn't bother to go and clue me in on any of that shit and tell me. And Orochimaru's like, they're all so insignificant. They were just pawns. You're my right hand, man. You're my number one guy, you know? And uh, anyway, that's, anybody will remember that from uh, uh, the, the, the Michael Keaton Batman from uh, 19, uh, 1989, I believe it was. Anyway, um, it's just it, it, whatever. If you haven't seen it, you know, you're, you're not in the know. And if you have, you probably know what I'm talking about. So, um, so Orochimaru and, and uh, Kaburo have this, this conversation that I thought was very good. Um, they talk about how you got to kind of strike while the iron is hot. Um, Orochimaru is clearly nervous that uh, Naruto is in the mix now. Because Sasuke, which is like his pet, he has this ultimate, you know, darkness and evil in his heart, and he's not going to stop until the rage overcomes him and he kills his older brother, right? So he's kind of like this unstoppable, like, negative killing machine, right? However, uh, Naruto is starting to influence him heavily, which scares Orochimaru, or at least makes him a little bit nervous. So he tells Kabuto that he's got to separate them, and he's got to go, and he's got to capture Sasuke. And then he goes and he says, uh, and I like this too, he goes on to say, this will be your, if you're, you want any chance at stopping me, you'll want to go and kill Sasuke, right? So he basically goes and leaves that open-ended, like, I'm telling you to kidnap him, but hey, listen, if you have a craving and a thirst for power and want to take me down, you're not going to do it one-on-one -on -one combat, because you're not stronger than Kakashi, and I can whip Kakashi's ass, that's what Orochimaru is saying, but... Here's the situation. If you kill Sasuke, you know, what am I going to do about it, right? And I like how he goes and puts that in his hands. It was really cool. And then he goes and he says about the whole, like, because you can't go up against me. He goes, oh, I'm just joking, right? Now, uh, Kabuto, I had no idea, was this powerful, right? Apparently, he's he's up there as far as power-wise and everything else. And we knew that he was on another level uh, several chapters ago, but we didn't know really what level he was on until now. Now we have a little bit of a better understanding and feeling, at least, for where he kind of ranks among things, you know. Probably not as powerful as Orochimaru, but maybe on the same level as Kakashi. And we know Kakashi is a badass, and he's certainly above, uh, you know, above average. Anyway, but I like the whole conversation they have because really the point to it was that um, there's going to be a huge war. All the different the, the different villages are, you know, preparing and, and, uh, and kind of beefing up their battle, their armies, right? And... And soon enough, uh, the Village of Sound is going to wind up going and... and, and Orochimaru is going to wind up being like the, the, the proponent, the, the propellant that sparks the war between all of them. Everybody's going to be warring and fighting and this and that, and that's what he wants. And that's what you hear them talking about, or read them talking about, I guess you would say. You'd only hear them talking about if you're watching the anime. 
anyway, uh, still very, very cool stuff. Now, then we wind up going back to, uh, you know, Naruto and company, everybody who's standing around and kind of cut back to the Hokage explaining. The preliminaries are over, and basically uh, the finals are going to commence in 30 days. And everybody's like, what, 30 days? What are you talking about? And Naruto's like, I want to get this shit on now. The Hokage explains, he's like, listen, some people were injured, some people need time to prepare, we also need time to go and send word out to the other villages and their Hokages about, you know, uh, about what's happened so far, right? And then probably, obviously, to invite them in, too, uh, to come and see the finals and everything else. So there's a lot of preparing. And also, it's fair. It's fair because there's people that were injured from their battles. Also, he explains that some people wound up showing all their cards. They had to put everything out on the table, right? But also, that helps others to go and have time to be able to prepare to go up against them or to go and fight them or however these finals wind up working out. So the bottom line is is that 30 days from now, everything's going to commence regardless of what anybody likes or doesn't like or whatever. So it gives you time to kind of focus, heal, train, masturbate, whatever it is that you like to do, right? And, uh, and, and I like that. But the end of the chapter was awesome, right? We see Sasuke sitting there hooked up to a respirator, you know, and he's laying there and not looking good at all and whatnot. And all, and then you see a couple of like, the guards that were in his room knocked out or dead or whatever. And then you see Kabuto, right? And Kabuto is going and he's, and he's kind of standing over him and he's starting to think in him, uh, and have a little flashback to what Orochimaru said about killing him and this and that and everything else. And he goes and pulls out this little scalpel-like knife or whatever, you know, and, he's, and then all of a sudden you see... Whoosh, and next thing you know, next panel, Kakashi's behind him and he has taken the thing out of his hand. And Kabuto is like, yeah, only you would think to go and appear and attack me in my blind spot right when I was this and that. And what I like about this is it leaves you hanging with Kakashi going, you realize that I'm going to have to capture and interrogate you now. And Kabuto's like, yeah, if you can. And I love that shit, man. It just kind of ends with like a whose dick is bigger set type of scenario. You know what I mean? Who's got the biggest balls of them all? You know what it's Oh, very cool stuff. So... All in all, a very neat chapter, even though it is kind of just a bridge from, you know, the, all the action that we saw in the preliminaries. Um, there was still a lot of great content, I thought. So, my chapter question for you, brothers and sisters, and many of you, of course, are farther into the series. You know it's coming to a close and everything else in the next few weeks. But, um, from what you've seen at this point, right, who do you think would win in a fight? Kabuto or Kakashi? Uh, leave your answer to that question in the comments down below. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you should think that I deserve it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We will look forward to catching all of you in the next one, nation. If you have watched this far, I want to thank you very much and encourage you to check out my Facebook and Twitter.